Alrighty folks, welcome back to an architect's adventure. We went over this way last time and we did a bunch of puzzles, but we did not figure out this thing. Um, this mysterious puzzle, this mysterious trophy. However, I decided I'm gonna move away from it. Like there's always a thing of like, by the end of the game, I'm gonna be extra smart. So why not just, uh, Wait until then. Okay, let's do this in a fairly efficient way. Let's put that there and then just make the shape I want to make. Uh, but by the yeah, by the end of the game, I'll be better at the game, and so therefore it's like a better time to come and do the more tricky things in the game. I've done this wrong. You go there. Okay. Then we just make the shape we want, and then we push it up. That's right. Oh. Two more? No, one more. Oh, this does not work. It would work if I put another one down, right? Wait. Is there another one there? No, this does, this does work. I just add one more. That's fine. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there's only one there, which I can now not do. Oh. Oh. Okay, cool. So much for efficient. Uh, okay, this is interesting. I can drop down to these and walk over. Ah, I see there's a trophy there. I'm going to guess this is an area full of ice, though. Mm, there's not a lot of ice here, is there? Another way. Maybe I've just found the extra hard puzzle zone. Oh, dear. Okay, so clearly I cannot take a block. There's a block in the water already. That's kind of curious. But I cannot take a block through this. Um, mm -hmm. oh, am I maybe wanting to shift that block over into that space somehow? That actually feels doable. Doesn't it? It's got to go two. Ooh. Ooh. Tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Like, maybe... That was there, that went off. Oh. Not that. I think it will, I think it, uh, no, no. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I'm thinking of a way to nudge that. Oh, actually, I think I see a way. Using a long L shape with this at the bottom or at the top of it, it's like this. Uh, I've made this kind of hard to put together, I think. Maybe not if I pull some of the pieces out. Okay, you go there. Like, ah, uh, it's going to be too far out this way. Wait, it didn't need to be that long. Um. Uh, let's attach these vertically. That's kind of how I'm going to want them. I'm put you over here. Do this. And I think these are all going to be vertical. Then we use that to nudge that along too. There we go. Cool. Neat. Uh, and then we're immediately to the one stop. Oh, these are all one stop puzzles. Yeah, maybe this is meant to be like a more advanced area. Although that one's also a one stop puzzle, but the star is floating next to the thing. Does, is the star always floating? I think the star is always floating. I was trying to get parallax, not into the level. Yeah, the star is actually floating above the, the tile to enter the level. Is this also a trophy then? It's also a trophy. Oh my gosh, the world keeps going up there. Um, yeah, we're only, I mean, okay, we're over halfway. <laughs> Underpass. Okay. We've got to get the X. We're not climbing up. Okay, so we need a path there. Oh dear, wait, so we're already too high. Let's do, what is it, this? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So... Wait, wait, okay, but the X is, okay. Oh, oh. Oh, I see. Well, that's hard to see, but... 
What's that? What were the other controls? Look around, move, rotate. But yeah, there's like a bit sticking out. Very hard to see, but I'm glad I got it. Okay, let me, I've got my gamepad over here. What happens if I, okay, nothing. Um, right, not nothing. So I could walk under that. I absolutely could walk under that, yes. Which is probably what's gonna happen. So I think what I want is a shape that like, it's gonna go down there with this on top and then a thing up here. This isn't the whole thing. Well, I think I, I think I know the whole thing. I think the whole thing is that there, that there, that there, that there, bring this over, walk into you. Yay! <laughs> Most of that puzzle was about understanding the geometry of the level. If I hadn't noticed how the how it was layered, that would have been extra tricky. Narrow aisle. Okay, what well, what's going on here with the heights? X is at normal ground level. That's a three tall wall. This is a one tall wall. Well, okay. That, <laughs> I changed the way I was measuring. <laughs> that's a two tall wall. This is a one tall wall. Or that's a three tall wall. This is a two tall wall. Whatever. Um, there's a door. Narrow passage. I gotta get over to that X. So the passage here is three. Is that what it's called? Narrow aisle. It's three wide. Yeah, I see the issue with that. Is that the X is four away. Any chance I'm going over the wall? I don't think there's a way of lifting myself up. No. Because if I step onto it after something else has just left it, then it doesn't go up. There's no way of lifting myself up. So somehow, we have to get a four wide thing through here. Or like two separate shapes that we then attach on the other side. And, but it, it, it's kind of feasible to take two separate shapes with this because like this can be between them. Five blocks. Five blocks. If I were pushing a shape with this, I mean, I'd have to have, mm, I was taking like more shapes across. Clearly this is here to walk around and do that. Okay, so could I do that and have another shape with me? How? How, how, how? I'd have brought a three thing through. Also, that wouldn't be at the right level. I need to be able to walk over this thing. So you don't, you shouldn't be propping up any of the blocks. You should just be, you are just for separating them. That is my, that's what I'm going with. You are just for keeping two things apart. Like, I'm just gonna demonstrate. Like this. However, problems. Lots of problems. Sure, I could have brought a three long shape here. You're now attached to that. Or is there a way of going back? I think that's feasible. It's kind of feasible. Ish. Ish. Five, like that's have like a shape going around me and be able to push it back. Uh, but there's other things I could do here, right? Like I could put a shape here. Mm, no, I was gonna say like I could then push this outwards. I could eventually, okay, hold on. Do that. Like, like, clearly this is not the right thing. If I push it outwards, it is going to release that door. Hmm. Hmm.
also it's, it's not the right kind of shape. That is the right length. But again, that's gonna close. I'd have to push it further down as well. Hmm, yeah, that's not doable then. Okay. What's the thing you're asking for? three wide blocks through here. I can't shift them right because then the door will come up and I won't be able to get through. So only bring three wide blocks, therefore multiple blocks have to come through. Somehow. I could be bringing two twos. What does that look That gives me one extra block. that to the right. Like if I push blocks like this, I cannot get around. Yeah, I can never get around any of this. I can get around you. Is there something I can, can I ferry things afterwards or something? Can we somehow get shapes around the door by using this? Thing. Make sure you go in the water. I don't want blocks attached to the top of it, right? Like, that is just not what I want. I don't think that's what I want. I can, if I want to, make a shape like this and avoid the door in the first place, but this is never gonna go around. But then, what about that, but without the last block on it? Um, and then, um, that, that, I suppose this could zigzag back up, but it's never going to reach. No, it's not. Uh, ooh. We do have this. This is We can step on this as well. So if you were zigzagging the other way, this doesn't work out, but it's interesting at least. We did that. And then we did, I don't know, this and this. Can I, I get you over there, but I can't get this one. Hmm, it's gonna be something like this. Hmm. So something is gonna get pushed into that space, isn't it? So I'd have to be able to recover it? Or? Hmm. If I'm bridging four across here, let's, let's treat it as though I've got six blocks. I effectively do. And I've got two spare. So something getting pushed here is never getting recovered with two spare. Okay. So how does one... That's the widest shape I could have pushed through. Although, I can do that. <laughs> Not that helps to make it any wider. But it's certainly a little bit interesting, is it? Is it at all? Uh, could you be on top? No, of course not. Ooh, this one's tricky. Okay. I don't want any blocks attached to the top of the thing, I don't think. Although, is it necessarily true? Maybe one? 
all the other way around, like the thing on top of the block. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to say, this one's not leaping out at me. I'm going to start taking a different strategy here of like, let's see if any puzzles leap out at me and then <laughs> save all the ones that are really difficult for the end. Uh, does this leap out at me? Diffraction, <laughs> I see. <laughs> Doing a single slit experiment. Okay, so there are a bunch of pillars. Then there are pillars we can attach. Then there are... Is this not just like separate using these? If I can take three blocks through, I'm done. And this could separate three blocks. I think that might be the whole thing. The other block might be to help get one of these blocks, further, one of these pillars further out somehow. How do I expect that will work? Okay, yeah, how do I get one of these further out? There are two layers here, which is interesting. Ah, I see how it could work. If we attach that... Oh, I can't, I can't go down after that. Oh, okay. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I, mean, I can't get back up after doing this. But that's how to get a pillar away. Oh, maybe, no, 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 no. I was gonna say stack both pillars and then push that away from up here. Or maybe I just push it away later when I don't have to be up here anymore. That's, okay, so it's feasible to like push a bunch of these down. Hmm. Okay. So I guess what I'm thinking is... Push this down. Don't push you up there. Push this down, push it on top. We're going to sort that out later though. Push this down over the top. Oh, no, it doesn't go over the top. But you could just go here, that's fine. Is it fine? No, they both need to get away from the wall. Okay, how could they both get away from the wall? That one's doable, because when I drop down I can do this and push it. But I can't put another one on top, because I need to take three through. Uh, oh, but the uh, one of the things could just be the pillar itself. No, it can't. It can't be, because I, I can't push the blocks over the pillar. I can't push the pillar over the blocks on the other side. Like over here, I won't be able to push them over each other. So the pillar can't be one of the things. I've got to take three individual blocks. Well, unless I'm misunderstanding the height of that thing. I don't think I am. Okay. So. So. How do I get another one of these away? I couldn't have pushed it over. Wait, but I could have... No, 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 no. Like, I can get that down. I can't push it away from the wall. I, was like, I can push that one away from the wall. That's the fundamental issue I've got here. I want that away from the wall so that I can insert one, like a block behind it. Although that block also has to get away from the wall. Mm, I'm, on, I'm not doing the right things, am I? I'd have to be able to get behind the block that I'm then pushing. Okay, yeah, getting this, all this stuff away from the wall is actually really difficult. So I'm doing something wrong. These aren't going to be at the right height for me to walk over. Hmm. However, I do need to take through three individual blocks that I can rearrange on the other side. Pretty certain. Okay. How on earth is that happening? I can't get this away from the wall. Ever. 
ever. The pillar doesn't help me get this away from the wall, because this, I can't go over the top of it. What? Unless... Unless the thing that's leftmost is just the pillar with a block on top of it, and I push. Then how? So, pillar with a block on top of it. Block. Pillar. Block. That only brings through two blocks. How am I bringing the other one through? Is there any going back afterwards? Even then, that doesn't solve the problem of getting this away from the wall. Three, three, three blocks. And it can't be the pillars. If the pillars were there, I can't push stuff over them. They just attach, and then we've just got a thing that I can't walk over. Three blocks. We're not likely to be taking something like over those pillars, right? How tall are those pillars? Very tall. So no. Definitely taller than this floor here. Okay, three blocks. Somehow, must go. How do I get any blocks away? What? How do, how, yeah, how do I get any of these blocks away from this wall? Like, even the ones on the right. Like... Huh? Like if I want to put one to the right of this, how are you moving? Sure you can have a thing on top of you, but that makes you useless on the other side. I need to get single blocks by themselves away from this wall. That's not possible. That is just not possible. Oh, no it is. Of course it is. I forgot how things work. Um, like a simple way is push it over under the block. Yes, I've got, I've got uh, well, yeah, okay, sort of. I mean, okay, okay. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't fully remembering all the rules. Um, like, theory like this. Ah, oh, but that's going to attach. So no, not like that. Um, I can push them. Okay. I can push them over each other. But then they're going to stick to each other. That's inevitable. Well, not if I do this. But then I can't go back up. But I could have pushed more things down in theory. Okay. I, I, I could also, like, let's just get these out of the way for now. Push things down here. And, like, stack them up, and that's technically fine. There's three things. Can I separate those three things from each other somehow? Oh, wait, I can separate them. But can I then push them away from the wall? Nope. So it was more useful to like push things over, but then they stick. Uh, I mean, that's two things. I oh, know it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Huh? So I either like push them past each other and they stick to each other, or I push them on top of each other. Oh, no, 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 no. I right, push them on top of each other, and I they don't stick, and I separate them. Obviously, that's not a great way of separating them, but then I can't get them away from the wall. Uh, huh. 
Aha. How can I push them over each other and have them not stick to each other? I have a pillar on the other side, but that doesn't help. Like, I mean, I can't even get a pillar. What? <laughs> what is this? need to go past the door. Those things need to be one of, of one height so that I can make a bridge out of them. Therefore, either oh, like a one height thing needs to be able to get away from this wall, which I can't do. R uh, remind me how does it work if... Um, can I even make this happen? Oh. I mean, I can do this, okay. What happens if I walk down steps when there's a thing at the bottom? Yeah, I just walk on top, okay. No. Sure, I can push blocks over each other, then they stick to each other. Then they stick to each other. This is shockingly difficult. Those pillars are too high. I believe so. I mean, should we do this to find out? Although I'm not sure I can actually get this. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's only four. I mean, it might help just by looking. Ah! Hard to tell. I think those are the same height as where this is right now. I mean, none of these view changes help. I zoom. Oh, maybe this one helps. Yeah. I think that's higher up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, what am I not thinking of? Getting something away from a wall. Well, obviously I can do it if things are attached to each other. Things that are attached to each other are not useful later. So only one of these could be attaching to one of the other blocks. If two of them are attached, then we have not enough blocks to actually get across to the X on the other side. What does that mean? Lost. Sure, I could use the pillar to help nudge something away from a wall if the thing were already in this row. <laughs> so it's already away from the wall. I could use a block to nudge a, a pillar block combo away from the wall. I mean, I could also just nudge that myself. But that's not what I want away from the wall. I want the individual blocks away from the wall. Somehow. Somehow. Whew. 
There's no way, like, uh, let's say I put another block on top of you, which is not going to be good anyway, but let's say I did that, and I pushed another block over that. Sure, it could drop, but it attached to the bottom block at the bottom. So, or, or the block at the top, yeah. Like, there's no, no way of pushing blocks over each other without them getting stuck to each other. Um, I suppose with two blocks and a stack... Like, um, I don't know, you just go down. Two blocks and a stack. If this were in a, like a better place, uh, we could do it in a better place, we'll do it here. I can't, once again, this is like, I can't put like, I was, th I was thinking like, okay, the, st the stack's not there, but imagine these were stacks up. I could, yeah, I could push those two apart, but the one that I push along is just gonna stick. Is it somehow okay that they stick? No, because I need a three tall shape on the other side. <laughs> but maybe, uh... hmm. My stomach's gurgling. Getting hungry. Uh, this might be one that we also have to leave behind. I do not understand how I push anything away from these walls. Or well, anything useful away from these walls. Go. Got them away from the wall. Hmm. Is there something interesting about like doing a shape like this? I don't see what would be interesting about that. Once again, single blocks need to come away from the wall somehow. What? Okay, it's first principles. If there's a single block in any of these columns, what would exert force on that single block? Sorry, in any of these cells in this column, what force could be exerted on that block to push it away from the wall? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. That's not possible. So if it's stuck against the wall, it's stuck against the wall. Without attaching it to something, then we have a problem. Okay, so not that. Then, how else does it get a block, a block get into the second column here? By going over something else. Yes, by going over something else. Now what could that something else be? It can't be a pillar because you'd attach to it. I can't stop it from attaching somehow. It can be a block, but then when you fall, You're going to attach the block that you went over, not, not yeah, not you're not going to land the ground. Uh, well, this is this just feels impossible. This feels completely impossible. else does the thing get in that column? Like, like I'm saying, like if I push it there, it attaches. What would make it not attach? Nothing. How else? Okay, so basically the only way into this cell is from there, which it can't happen, as in like not attached to me, or from above. How is it going to get into this space? This floor here, push, push, and then it'll attach to whatever's below. 
or it'll attach to the thing, it, the vertical column, if it was pushing over the vertical column. This is not possible. This this one is actually not possible. Diffraction. I don't, well, I know why it's called that. <laughs> I don't need. That doesn't help. <laughs> I can set up, like, a lot of what I want, like, up here. Like, this is the kind of structure I want, but, like, I'm sure that works here, but not anywhere else. Suddenly everything's stuck together. Can I have some idea from doing this? Uh, I can take this down. Put that there. That's going to go over there and then get attached after it falls. Amazing. <sighs> mm, I think I've decided this one's impossible. Do they go around the pillars? No. No. We're going through. There's like potentially interesting shapes you can do where you like actually do this. I, I don't think this solves anything, but like I'm gonna do it. Um, I don't know. Let's do, let's do like this. Right, let's just think about interesting shapes. Yeah, uh, over there. You can be in the shape. Like, okay. <laughs> Again, this is like way too high to do anything with. But I can't get any single blocks away from the edge 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 <laughs> away from the edge. <laughs> a block will just stick to the block it's pushed off I'm not misinterpreting how high that X is, right? It's really hard to tell. It's very, very hard to tell. It's actually really hard to tell. How high up is that X? It looks kind of tall there, but is that just the perspective? Can't tell. Is there another way to figure it out? Uh, full screen toggle render scale. Oh. Beta art style. Uh, look around, rotate camera. Let me try, try my gamepad. Okay. Mm. How high is that? I can't see. I think it's the ground level. How tall is the not? Yeah, you'd see like, because it's not just it's tall, but it's like actually made of blocks. I'd see two blocks. I do not see two blocks. Therefore, that must be ground level. 
Yes. I mean, even if it, if it wasn't, then I'd have to also climb up and... Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. What the heck am I doing then? <laughs> Maybe I don't take through three separate blocks. So, okay, so if I'm not doing that, then I'm taking through... It has to be something I can take through just like in a line. Maybe I'm like ferrying. Can I ferry them through all separately from each other? Without the door popping up? I don't think so, no. No, the door would pop up. be one. There could have been one on top. Push that in. Right, okay. Maybe I'm on something here. There could have been one on top, I think, although kind of tricky. Uh, it's doable here. Right, did that. Push that down. That over. Um, yes, yeah. Mm, yes. Okay, okay. Maybe I was doing completely the wrong thing. Because this is the closest I've been. Okay. One more. One more. Oh. <gasps> I think I see. <laughs> I think I see. I think I see. This is it. I think that's it. <laughs> that's how it's possible. There are three separate things, sort of, but they're stacked vertically. Oh my gosh. Wow, that was complicated. Oh, I moved on from a one star. Oh yeah, that one. <laughs> Forgot about that. Ah, don't keep going in. Um, all right, folks. This game, this game has gone tough. Um, I'm now, I'm now terrified of it. Uh, we could keep going over there, but I'm gonna continue like, well, okay, so I think I'm unlikely to actually be recording any more until after Christmas. Um, so who knows what I'll actually decide to do next time we record, but I think um, my plan now is to actually go explore elsewhere rather than even look at that two star over there. Just sort of kind of go all over the place and see what we find. Um, but let's see if that actually happens next time. All right. Goodbye, folks.